Hello everyone, as you can see this is Dell XPS 15 9500. It says no bootable device found. Okay, this is a new machine, but there is one fault with this sort of machine. They get overheated so quick. However, this is not a overheated issue or overheating issue. So the actual problem is the internal SSD is broken. Okay, uh, and sometimes it does indicate from the actual corrupted system as well. So if you try to reload the system, I mean reinstall the windows and if it doesn't work, then definitely, definitely this is the issue from internal SSD. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna turn this off and we'll open up and we'll replace the actual SSD and we'll see if this one does work. By the way, this repair wouldn't help you to get back your data if the internal SSD is broken. However, either we can choose this Samsung One TV or might be I do have another one which is 500. It's depend on how much space there you want to put. Anyway, so let's turn this off and take apart, replace the SSD and we're going to see if it does resolve the issue. By the way, we have to reinstall the Windows after that. We'll do that and today end of this repair we'll try to install Windows 11 in the separate video if you would like you can have a look into my channel the link would be in the description so first of all we're gonna take out all the screws those are pantalope screws uh, all of them same in size so when you lift up the back cover try to lift it up from the right hand side to the left Alright, so once the battery is disconnected, we gonna take out this SSD which is no more functional. By the way, there are two slots for this machine. If you want, you can add double M.2 either SATA or NVMe SSD, but unfortunately there is no any space for 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SATA SSD. There is a single heat sink, so we're gonna unscrew it and then we have to pull towards the left hand side to take out this. Uh, it comes with the thermal pad to keep it cool, but still the SSD broken up, okay? Even there is no any physical damage, but I have tested behind the background and that is physically faulty anyway. So I do have the same model. I'm gonna add up exact same one. Okay, and I'm going to add this up and we'll try to see if it shows up into the bio screen. And then I'll try to reinstall Windows. By the way, for this case, once I replace the SSD and when I try to reinstall the Windows 11, it showed up. Okay, and previously with the faulty one, when I tried to install the Windows on it, it was not able to locate the actual SSD, you know. So let's do it.
as you can see it went to the setup page now we're gonna double check before when I came to this state it shows there is no stories found to reinstall the windows as you can see it says there is one drive once we changed it's absolutely fine and brilliant as you can see the setup has started so if you do have this sort of issue the device not found first of all what you should do you should give it a try to check if there is physically properly connected or not the actual SSD into the SSD slot and if it connected then you must need to try to troubleshoot the Windows system and then still if you can't solve then the last option would be to replace the SSD and once you replace the SSD you have to reinstall the system through the bootable USB thumb drive if you do have one if not then you can check my another video link would be in the description still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye for now thank you